Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. I want to, I hate even talking about it. And um, what it is, it's, it's uh, and the, the reason is there's so much talk uh, about this racism stuff. And the, what I've learned is racism if there is racism and you know I don't want to go into the debate because you can hear all these wackos and uh, they come up with the weirdest kind of stuff but uh, the way it's going to stop and that is going to be sections at a time just a little bit at a time a little bit at a time and that's that's how it gets under control. Now, all this protest, the protest isn't so bad. I don't have, and I've mentioned about protesting. There's nothing wrong with the protesting. The problem is they go into looting and violence. And um, it, the only way it's going to stop, and now it ought to be... Uh, you might understand me a little better, and I've mentioned this before. Uh, when I was involved in all this racial crap, uh, the thing was, eventually, what happens, the police won't be involved. And the reason they won't get involved is when they get involved, then automatically, well, it must be a racial thing, so they have to take a racial side. And that's not, that's not it. When I was young and stupid, I thought that's probably what it was. But as I'm older and I'm wiser, I realize they're just plain people with bad attitudes. And that'll be more like communist type people. They're looking for uh, a lot of violence and, and, and all kinds of nasty stuff. The more unstable things get, then it's more of a chance that communism can get in place. Uh, if you don't understand that, just check out uh, China, how they were able to get communism in China. It had to make it so unstable that they were able to uh, say, well, here, we'll, we'll take care of you. Okay, now, but this isn't China. <laughs> no. This is something that I know y'all are having a hard time understanding. But once the police understand that this violence is motivated politically. It's, it's, it's not a racial problem. It's political problems. And, uh, but they're going to have to realize it by saying, well, it's racial and we, we can't get involved. And what happens, once that time happens, then we, as Americans, will take care of the problem itself. And, um, I like I say I haven't really got into a lot of videos talking about the details of it, but it's not hard to understand when your safety, the safety of your family, your personal belongings, when all this stuff it needs to be secure, and the you're not going to call the police to get that security that we want then that means we have to take care of it ourselves, And this is what's going to happen. Now, what's, and, and uh, you got to remember, who is causing all this problem? It's the minority. And I'm not talking about the minority. We'll look at the races that are involved. I'm not talking about that kind of minority. I'm talking about the minority, the people exactly involved. Uh, these are troublemakers. These are people, New World Order, you know, they come up with all kinds of weird crap. Any excuse they can come up with that they can protest and let this protest turn violent is, in their state of mind, thinks that's good. But the thing is, as American people, we can only go along with so much of it. And you can call the police all you want. And, but eventually, the police will admit, or at least they did to me, they admitted that they can't get involved. And like I say, I'm not white or black, so, uh, you know, they couldn't even take, take any kind of sides on that. And they're not 
um, they're not governed like we are as American people. We have a constitution and we have morals. And those are two things that you can see the police don't function on that. Uh, their, their uh, I want to say laws, but it's not really laws. Uh, the way they, their guidelines on how they uh, do things has nothing to do with uh, morals or the Constitution. I mean, a good example, something that you can relate to now is when the police are called because people don't have a mask on or they're going to open their business, a legal business, but no, you can't open your business. And they're going to send the police in to do this. That tells you the Constitution has nothing to do with it and morals has nothing to do with it. They are on a separate set of guidelines. That's why they're writing all the tickets. They're looking for money, money for the cities, the states, the counties, this type of stuff. Uh, this is how they're motivated. And so that's why they're not, you know, protect and serve. They're, they're under no constitutional duty to protect and serve. And they're sure not under any moral duty. They are, as an individual, they are, but they're not protected. Their moral duties are not protected. That's why they've got these guidelines that they go on. And their guidelines are different than ours. We got guidelines, legal and moral and constitution. And they don't they don't apply to them. This is why. That's why they can do the weird things that they do. And um, once they get out of the way, once they realize, well, this is beyond stuff we do. Yeah, you're right. This is moral injustice that's going on. Social injustice. That's what they, they like to say this. These protesters talk about their social injustice. No, they're making that social injustice. But it's, it's not because they don't have any morals. Even social injustice doesn't have anything to do with morals. It's politically correct. You know, it's all political Nothing to do with Constitution, nothing to do with morals. And so once we get back to the basic constitutional duties and moral duties that we have as individual Americans, then you will see things start getting straightened up. That's why I was trying to figure out when in the 60s and when in the 70s they had racial problems, bad racial problems. And how did it stop? It wasn't because they passed enough laws and they got enough police and stuff like that. That's not what caused it. When people went inside of themselves and realized they've got constitutional duties and moral duties and they have to stand up to it, then that's when things cleared up. And that's when things just kind of just started putting along a little bit at a time. But you're always always going to have these social injustices when it comes to racial. You're always going to have that. And it's always going to come from the same people, the ones with the attitude problem. Look for those. Those are the problem that we have. This mic. No stress mic. Dot com.